Hey, it's Rich, the Louisiana Hobby Guy, and I am in the laser lab today, and we are talking about framing. So, do you guys still frame? Do you frame your work? You don't have a precision laser like the Lasermatic. Uh, a lot of people don't. So, let's talk about framing, how to do it perfectly with a new feature in Lightburn. And if you don't know this, you can go over to the Lightburn forum, which is forum.lightburnsoftware.com and go to feature requests and look through those requests. See if yours is in there, what your idea is. If it is, gives it, give it a thumbs up because that's how they add new features to Lightburn. If it's not in there, then go ahead and start a new topic. The ones with the most thumbs up are usually the ones that get added to the software updates. So go ahead and do that real quick. In the meanwhile, I'm going to show you a software update in version 1.5 for all of you people that frame your work. So let's go over to Lightburn real quick and we will talk about uh, the new feature in Lightburn. As you can see, I've got a screen of the laser on the bottom right corner and I will be putting a, actually, let me just show you real quick. I'll be putting this 100 by 100 millimeter piece of wood on there and framing it perfectly with this new feature in Lightburn. So let's get started with the feature and the first thing that we're going to do, uh, I've gone ahead and drawn this perfect square here that is 99 by 99 and I've taken off one millimeter because I want it to fall right on the edge of the wood when it frames. So now with that done, I'm going to come up here to the wrench and screwdriver icon and in here you'll see a new feature from Lightburn called Frame Continuously. And this is the feature we're going to be talking about today. Go ahead and tick that on so that it's green and also make sure that your enable laser fire button is on, laser on when framing, and set this to whatever you want. I usually set this to about 0.75%, but for this demonstration, I'm raising it up a little bit to 1%, and that's all we need to do to enable this new feature. So now with this new feature enabled, I'm gonna go drop this wood onto the laser, and we're going to frame it, and you'll see we will get a new message in Lightburn. And the final thing that we have to do is come to the Move tab because this piece is so small, I've set the speed over here to 1500 millimeters per minute. And that will drive it slow enough so that we can get the piece into position. So let's go ahead and hit frame and you will see the new message from Lightburn. It says, press OK when finished. So let's go over to the laser now and set this up. This is really, really simple to do. So we've got it moving really slowly and all we're going to do is align it right there on that edge. And as you can see, we'll just move it as it frames. Don't let the laser hit your fingers. Make sure that you're wearing your glasses, all that kind of good stuff. And now we just need to get it right on the edge. We're getting pretty close. This does take a minute, but you know, so does framing any other project. This is absolutely the best way to frame. And there you can see that is pretty much exactly right on. It could come down just a hair, but it's pretty close to being right on the money. And I think that's it. Maybe I've moved it a little too much. That's right on the inside. That's right on the inside. This one is slightly out. That one looks pretty good. And I'm just going to let this keep framing so that I know that it's in the perfect position. So now I've got at least three sides that look perfect. And I think that one looks pretty good too. I think I might just move it a hair more. And we're just getting that beam right on the inside edge of that wood. And that's why I deducted one millimeter. And I'm thinking that that is pretty close to perfect right there. So let's go ahead and test this. We'll come back into light burn and we'll say OK to stop the framing. 
and now what we'll do we'll wait for it to finish its last cycle and we will take this square and we will change this from 99 millimeters to uh, let's just do 94 like that and making sure that your origin point here is in the middle so right over here this needs to be in the middle before you resize it and now we can go back in and run this job and see how it comes out there we go so I'm going to get that piece off the laser and show it to you on camera now so you can get an idea of how this worked and there we go and how perfect is that it doesn't get any better than that right there that is a perfect frame on this piece and you'll never have to worry about framing again because of this new feature in Lightburn. So uh, that is, this is a quick and easy video today on how to frame with perfect precision with the new feature in Lightburn version 1.5. I hope you enjoyed this video today. I hope it helped you out. And as always, I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.